Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I have a very special treat for my ballers on a budget. I am doing a full face of makeup using only e.l.f. products. So, I have some e.l.f. makeup in my arsenal already, but I went on e.l.f.'s website. They were having like a big sale and they filled up the rest of what I didn't have. For, it was like under $40. It was like insane the amount of stuff that I got for so little money. Uh, honestly, e.l.f. Makeup isn't the worst. There are a few items that you should avoid and a few that you can go ahead and repurchase every time and it is not the same level of quality as the high-end brands, but a pretty good quality that you could get away with it if you're like on a budget, you know what I'm saying? So I already washed my face, moisturized, and I think we should get into this. So I'm gonna pull my hair back and we're gonna get started. Okay, so I don't have every single product I need from e.l.f. I don't have any brushes. I actually ordered some brushes, but they didn't get shipped with my order and there wasn't like a second shipping confirmation. So I'm gonna have to get in contact with their customer service because I'm not sure where my brushes are, but I'm just gonna use my other brushes. I'm not really gonna specify what they are. They're just like IT Cosmetics brushes, Urban Decay brushes, Tarte brushes. <laughs> you know, Morphe brushes, stuff like that. But I am going to start off with this e.l.f. matte primer. So they skimp a lot on packaging, which obviously cuts down, cuts down on cost. But this came in a box that said matte primer, but it actually doesn't say it anywhere on this tube. So I had to write in Sharpie when I originally bought this matte primer. And I've never used this before. Ew! <gasps> this product, sorry, I, I think it went bad. It's just so gross. Oh my gosh, wait, this smells like, ew. Oh my God, I think it went bad, hold on. Okay, there was just liquid coming out before. But this smells like, oh my gosh, what does that smell? Something from a doctor's office, but it definitely smells like very chemically. I'm taking a pretty small amount and I'm mostly gonna focus this in my T-zone areas. Uh, oh, this feels heavy and gross, oh gross. It's fine, we're gonna get through this. Okay, so now that I have this primer on and over my face and oh my God, I look like a tomato. So before we get into anything else on the face makeup wise, we're gonna go with the eyes. I am going to use this e.l.f. lip exfoliator and the interesting thing about this is it actually comes in like a lipstick tube and like you put it on your, I've used this before, it like kinda hurts but it doesn't like burn or anything. Um, you just like rub it on your lips like you do like regular lipstick and then it's like, you rub your lips together. And this actually doesn't taste so bad. It doesn't really have a smell, like, so I think it's unscented, but it doesn't taste so bad. So I don't think it has like any crazy chemicals in it or anything, but I'm not sure if it's like, actually it's not, it might be sugar in here, which is why it doesn't taste so bad. So I think this is a sugar scrub. And I'm, I don't know, the last time I used this, it worked okay. Okay, so that actually seemed to have worked pretty well. I'm very impressed. So let's move on to the eyes. And with my eye products, I'm gonna start off with eyeshadow. I have a couple eyeshadow palettes that I previously purchased. One is the Nude Rose Gold palette, and this isn't bad, but I also have the, it looks like California Baked Bronzer eyeshadow palette, and they're, or not baked bronzer, baked eyeshadow. And their baked eyeshadows are like, Pretty terrible. <laughs> I do have some setting spray that's not e.l.f. because their setting spray is like seriously just water, I swear. I swear it's just water. So I didn't buy any, honestly I've had it before if you saw my um, makeup empties video, seriously, whatever. But I do have like eyeliner, mascara, the whole shebang. So let's get into this nude rose gold. And I also bought some no bud shadow sticks. So I'm actually gonna go in with that first and one of these brushes. So I'm gonna be using this Tarte brush for this no budge shadow stick. I'm just gonna put this like on my lid and kind of in my crease. Oh wow, that's like, that's some nice color payoff. That is not half bad. Okay, so it go <laughs> it applies pretty well, but um, let's see how well it like blends out. Okay, so I'm noticing it blends out pretty well. You lose some of the pigment when you blend it out. Obviously that's gonna happen. But since e.l.f. doesn't have an eyeshadow primer or I didn't see one when I was buying everything, um, this is actually kind of tacky. So this might help the eyeshadow stay a little bit better than it would have if I hadn't applied this, or uh, it, you know, before everything else. Okay, so it looks like I pooped on my eyes a little bit. You know, like shiny poop. Here, I should actually get you in here. Are you too close for comfort now? Okay, so next up I'm gonna be taking this Ulta eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with like a nice solid base. So I'm gonna take this shade 
in the um, nude rose gold palette by e.l.f. and uh, put that all over my lid. Okay, so this doesn't look like the worst, but it's definitely not the best. I am going to take the third shade in on this nude palette and just like go a little bit further into the crease and everything. And most of these, sh uh, most of the shades in this palette are uh, matte. So some of the shimmer, the no bud shadow stick that I put on before is peeking through and I like don't hate it. And that shadow stick was actually pretty intriguing. So I'm gonna check out this rose gold shadow stick. Maybe I'll use that all over the lid instead of the baked eyeshadow. And this looks like really pretty. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. And then that's probably all I'll do on my eyes. Okay, so I'm blending this out. Okay, so I really like this look. The only thing is I'm losing some of the like darkness definition around my crease and everything. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a dark shade, I guess. Um, this shade in the nude rose gold palette right in my crease back here. Yeah, and these eyeshadows <laughs> are not the easiest to blend out. Uh, but I'm gonna try to save this, it's fine. Okay, whatever, we're gonna move on because I'm I'm done. I'm done with the eyeshadow already. Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking, oh my gosh, it's not even on here. I think, hold on, I have the package over here. This is the Intense H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. It was what I'm taking here. I have like a big, a bigger eyeliner, like felt tip pen upstairs, but honestly that dries out and it's like so gross and patchy anyway. So I'm gonna, just gonna see how well this applies. This is also, yeah, this is a felt tip too, but ooh. That's a lot of pigment there. All right, so let's see how well this applies. And it's not bad. So usually the thing that I hate about felt tips is that the color sometimes bleeds out, whereas with a brush tip, it kind of like, it tends to stay in place, at least in my experience. So this actually looks like it's applying really nice. I'm just gonna do like a little wing like that. Okay, so eyeliner is done, and I bought a nice, I think this is a waterproof mascara. Okay, so this is the Length and Volume Black Waterproof Mascara. This is what the box looks like. It's got like some blue flourishes on there, but this is, the shade is black. It's not blue. Um, so let's get that up in here. And I'm just doing the top lashes initially before I get um, my face done. And oh my gosh, this applicator looks so funky. I'm going to wipe off. This applicator looks kind of scary. Do you see this? Oh, that looks kind of scary. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. And it literally looks like it might be doing a little bit for my lashes. Huh? And I know we're all spoiled by the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Trust me. It might be the worst mascara I've used, but it uh, is covering my lashes. I hope this is easy to remove later. I mean, so far nothing is like burning or anything. I have really sensitive skin, so that's important to me to, that it doesn't burn or like sting my eyes or anything like that. And yeah, this seems like, I don't know, nothing's really burning. It feel, I can actually feel like the shadow stick. I know it says no bud shadow stick, but like when I move my eyes and when I blink, I can like feel it. I can feel that there's something on my skin. So next up, we're gonna move back to the face. And I saw these color correction sticks. I got a green one because uh, your girl is red. <laughs> um, and I am just gonna apply that on my face. We're gonna start out with this. I do have their foundation. They didn't have a light enough shade for me. So I got like a cover stick. I guess it might be their version of like a concealer. I'm not sure. We're gonna see how well it works. And I've never used a color correcting product before. I tried the, uh, what is it, the Makeup Forever, it was like a, a primer tinted green before, but that just, I applied it everywhere, so it didn't do anything for any specific regions of my face, it, you know, made the non-red areas just tinted green, and that was weird. Okay, so I have a lot of the areas on my face covered, so I'm taking this It Cosmetics, it's like a concealer brush, and I'm just gonna try to like buff it out a little bit, and this is blending out pretty well, I would say. Uh, that matte primer seems like it did absolutely nothing. Um, my pores are still like super visible. I know we're not like covering them, covering them. Like I haven't put on any face products, like a concealer or a foundation yet, but um, 
Just FYI, that matte primer is not really working out so well. Okay, so now that I look like I have a skin disease, I am going to take this e.l.f. all over cover stick. This was like a dollar. This seems light enough for me. Uh, their foundations, they did not have a light enough shade for me. So I'm gonna take this. It looks like it's kind of like a lipstick where you push it and it comes up. Yeah, okay. And this is the shade Apricot Beige. So I do have pink undertones on my face. So this was the correct shade for me, and I'm just gonna like, whoa, that's really creamy. Ooh, that applies super well. I was expecting something like the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick, and that's, that pulls on your skin so much, that's so crazy. I can't believe this was a dollar. There's probably not a lot in here, and I think this is probably meant for concealer anyway, but I'm just gonna like dab it over my face and then I'm gonna try to blend it out with a beauty blender first, see what we get. All right, and I have a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna start getting in here and blending this out. And if this looks too light, um, I'm, I'm blending it out, trust me. And we have blush, contour, slash bronzer, you know, we have the whole shebang, so we are not done yet. We're not done yet, girl. I thought I had some e.l.f. HD definition powder because my face is like, super shiny and girl you can totally see my zits and that ew yeah this is not sticking to my face at all i'm gonna see if i can find some setting powder okay so i thought i had some elf hd definition powder that's what it's called uh but i definitely don't so i'm gonna use the maybelline master fix setting and perfecting loose powder and i'm just gonna take this on a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna like pat this all over my face this feels so grossly wet. I totally would have just gotten a foundation if I had a shade that was light enough for me. So now that the face is set, I mean, you can kind of see some of the green peeking through, but not really. I do have a couple zits that I'm not gonna put any more of this cover stick on, uh, just, you know, for my sanity, and we just set this whole thing up. So you're gonna see those, that's fine. So I am going to go in now with the e.l.f. Saint Lucia Duo, I guess you could call it that. Look, we have like a nice, blush i use this as like a bronzer and then this like contoury shade this is supposed to be a bronzer but i'm so pale that i use it for like the really really deep carving you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna take this darker shade and just start right here my face blending upward toward the top of my ear that's not terrible it's really sticking though because of this freaking contour thing that I just used, or the concealer stick, and that was like super tacky, and I'm sorry face. Just take it along the top, you know what I'm saying? Get under here too. Oh, that's nice, that dryness like right there from an acne scab, you know, you know how super dry acne scabs work, you know? Um, so I'm gonna take this shade and put it right under my nose. This is an Urban Decay blush brush, by the way. I use it for like everything. It's amazing. So that doesn't look horrible. And this is one, something that I have purchased previously. Obviously I take that warmer color that's meant to be blush. And I use that as like a bronzer type shade, um, just like over here. I'm actually taking this and I'm like stippling it along my face now. And I apply blush after my bronzer contour and highlighter so it's just like easier to blend into the skin because I feel like I put blush on first, I don't know. Blush is best to go on here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Look at that, now I'm not like an all over pale freak anymore. So next, I didn't open this box before, before I started. Oh, I don't have a highlighter brush. Okay, so next I'm going in with this e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder. This is in Rose Glow. I actually recently watched uh, one of Tati's videos and she was saying like her all-time favorite drugstore makeup this was after I purchased this product by the way um, one of her all-time like her favorite all-time drugstore makeup items and the uh, elf highlighter was one of them so I'm pretty excited I was unexposed to any of this elf stuff previously so I'm just gonna like dab this in um, and I'm not seeing like anything Hold on, let me try my finger Okay, the finger is working a lot better. It's just not blending out very well. And I think it's because of the quality of what's underneath. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm getting it, just not in the areas that I want it to really like hit against the light. Okay, I guess that's good. Wow, these zits are showing through a lot. Great. So next I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. 
blush in tickled pink. This is also a staple item that I had purchased previously. I just stipple this, I smile, I stipple it all right there. And then I wipe the brush off and then I just like blend everything in together. So I blend this, the bronzer and the highlighter all into this so it just looks pretty seamless and usually does with other brands. <laughs> So for brows, I have two products. I did not see a brow gel or brow pencil on ALF's website, or if I did see a brow pencil, or not a brow pencil, a brow brush. If I did see one, it may have been too overpriced for my liking. So I have a $2 product and a $5 product from ALF's website. They are both brow pencils. This one is just a brow pencil. This was the $2 product. It has old packaging on it, which I think maybe they're like trying to get this out. Um, but this is the $5 product and this is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. And both of these colors are brunette. So first I'm going to try out the $2 product and we're going to see what we get with this. So first, this one comes with a much bigger spoolie. Which I guess if you're like me and you have like crazy brows that might alter what you're doing. Usually with me I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brow brush. You know, it has a spoolie and then the angle brush on one side and I use a pomade, but e.l.f. doesn't have brow color, like pomade stuff, so I brushed out my brow hairs and I'm just gonna start back here, start defining. The color payout is like super natural. I'm not getting a lot of color payout over here, but um, I guess it's not bad. And maybe the ultra precise brow pencil will be more like the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, because this is like very, <laughs> very thick. I would see why they have two different, um, you know, brow pencils. Oh my gosh, and yeah, that kind of, you see the front there, that's a very thick line up there. This isn't the worst. I mean, I get this for filling in, like, this part of the brow, but maybe get the ultra precise brow pencil for up front where you want to, like, define those little baby hairs. So that actually doesn't look terrible. I just usually get a little bit more help with the color since I have, like, ashy brown hair. My natural hair tone is like ashier. I get help bring like warmth into that with the pomades. Um, so I did this with the $2 brow pencil and I'm gonna do this eyebrow with the $5 brow pencil. So we can really see a difference. And I'm gonna say the packaging on the $2 brow, uh, pencil feels uh, a lot sturdier than this one. And yeah, this is exactly like the brow is. And NYX has a knockoff of it too. You see it like it has this the tiny little little thing that comes out um, and this will probably run out very fast so I'm just gonna try to like define and do this very fast. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is like not giving me enough color payoff for the amount of pencil that I'm using. That's crazy. I'm not really giving me what I want. Ew. Okay, so I'm definitely switching to the other brow pencil. This one is like giving me nightmares. Like I'm not even pressing that hard and it's like, do you see that line it created right there? Oh, no. I'm gonna try to buff it out. Okay, so I definitely like the $2 brow pencil better. I know my eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins, trust me. I know. And I usually do my eyebrows very differently when I do them in like a mirror or whatever. I don't usually use like a smaller mirror when I do them. But yeah, uh, Elf doesn't have a brow gel, so this is what we're getting. And we're gonna hope that they stay in place. Now that my face is done, I'm actually gonna see how the mascara fares on the lower lashes. Not working as well as, you know, some other products work. Okay, and that was okay. Eh, just your run-of-the-mill mascara, really. So here's the fun part. Elf's regular lipsticks are like super cheap, so I wanted to try out a black lipstick previously. So I purchased this one, it's called Blackout, and it's a regular lipstick. And when I bought all these Elf products, there was like a New Year's free gift set that you got with your purchase. Um, and that came with this high shine liquid lipstick in this like very dark berry color. So what I'm gonna try to do is line the outside of my lips and kind of like creep in with this black color and then try to create like an ombre effect with the high shine liquid lipstick. So let's try this out, I'm excited. Okay, so the black lipstick is on. I didn't apply a lot. Yeah, we're gonna go in with this e.l.f. 
high shine liquid lipstick and just oh my gosh are you kidding me this is so weird okay so if this is the box for the liquid lipstick and on the side it looks like this is literally like a brush like you get like individual brush hairs and it's like a really small applicator bitch this applicator is huge that's why i wanted to try to do this because it was oh it was gonna be so much easier to blend oh my gosh okay let's try this i'm elf i'm pissed Please update your packaging. So I'm blending this out and it looks like this black lipstick is like not really budging so much. So let me get a little bit more of this, see if I could just like pile it on top. There we go. Okay, so I really tried to fix the lips as much as I could, but it looks like this is our final look. Let me take my hair out. Even though I'm having an off hair day, and we can take a look. So this isn't the worst, but it's pretty terrible. And I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got lipstick on my teeth. That's fantastic. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of our awesome family with uh, uh, some choice elf products incorporated into your, into your routine. You can definitely be a baller on a budget. You can believe in yourself, use these products wisely. Probably don't use their black lipstick with their high shine liquid lipstick. <laughs> but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you aren't already. Um, there's a link in the description of my video for a giveaway that's going on right now So I just want to tell you guys about that so you have a chance to win some free makeup And if you like this video if you love elf give this video a thumbs up and comment down below What is your favorite elf product that is like a holy grail for you because like maybe I need it if I don't have it here Like tell me what it is so I can get it. Okay. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye